And although mild this weekend, this winter ended on a historic note with a stretch of record or near record snowfall across most of the state that has many people concerned about the potential for spring flooding. Meteorologist Brandon Michaels joins us now with more. Brandon. Yeah, February in particular, a very, very snowy month for us. And even though it's March and now we're seeing some melting, you can see there's still lots and lots of snow out here all across the state. And obviously, eventually that snow will be melting and that water all has to go somewhere. And that's generally when we see those flooding concerns. So to find out just how bad our flooding season this year is looking, I sat down with a NOAA hydrologist to get some answers. Water is one of Montana's most precious resources. But as we know, too much of a good thing can be a bad thing. Just look at last year when we dealt with widespread spring flooding. Fortunately, this year isn't shaping up to be quite as bad. Compared to last year, we're looking a lot better. Um, last year at this time, we were 150 to 200 percent of average for mountain snowpack. Um, and right now we're, I think our highest basin is like 115, 120 percent. Given our record setting February, it may come as a surprise that this year's mountain snowpack isn't all that high. Winter didn't really start till the first week of February. And while we did have record uh, precip in February, all it really did was bring us back up to normal. Melting mountain snow is one of the main drivers of major river flooding in Montana. But there's obviously snow on the plains as well. That too can contribute to river flooding, but also causes ponding, overland flooding, and basement flooding. Plain snowpack is a little bit above average, um, or maybe more than above average. Uh, we have a lot of water in the snow uh, in much of the plains, Cascade County and eastward, um, and south, southwest Montana as well. Even though the upcoming flood season isn't looking extreme, there are some rivers that are more likely to flood this spring. Right now it's looking like some of the tributaries to the Milk River, um, like uh, Clear Creek near Chinook, and then Beaver Creek in Valley County, um, and then the Little Bighorn River uh, in southwest Montana. Um, the Shields River as well might have some minor flooding. The weather going forward will also have a huge impact on flood potential. A rapid snow melt or heavy rain event can drastically and quickly increase the likelihood of flooding. It's best to be prepared for flooding now, especially when it comes to flood insurance. If you live in an area where you're even remotely close to having some flooding problems um, or you've had them in the past and you don't have an active policy, you need to talk to your insurance agent now or talk to somebody at FEMA about getting that policy in place. So far, our winter has left us in a good spot. Now we look forward to spring to see what Mother Nature brings and how the flooding season unfolds. Now, Aaron says all this snow we have been dealing with does give us at least some benefit. There's no longer any drought in the state of Montana. And looking ahead a little further than that, Unfortunately, snowpack isn't a very good indicator on how bad the fire season is going to be. Now, if you want to learn a little bit more about this at times historic winter, tune in to Face the State March 31st. That's a Sunday. Me and the Storm Tracker weather team will be breaking down the impacts from this winter. Reporting in Great Falls, Brandon Michaels, MTN News.